In the world of competitive badminton, Canada's Michelle Lee is a superstar. She's ranked number one in the Americas, the first Canadian to win gold in badminton singles at a Commonwealth Games, and defending Pan Am gold medalist. But in spite of all these accomplishments, Lee has said she can't shake the feeling her sport gets little respect. One of my goals is to change that in Canada. Sometimes I go through customs and people, I don't know if they do it on purpose, but they, they ask me, what's badminton? No one was asking that here, where the Pan Am Games badminton matches are being played. To these fans, Lee is the star athlete. She's great. The, the moves that she hits, yeah, it's amazing. Just watching the style that she hits with, the finesse, it's very nice. She's very good. Yeah, it's exciting to watch. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Today's gold medal singles match pitted Lee against her doubles partner and Canadian teammate Rachel Hondrick, guaranteeing the gold for Canada. <laughs> Lee won. This gold medal helps us qualify for the Olympics, of course, and um, it gives me the confidence to continue to, to keep fighting and motivates myself to, to keep training hard and uh, go, for, go for the top, yeah, and medal in Rio. Today saw the first bike races of the Games on the track at the Pan Am Velodrome. It was Canada riding against Canada Venezuela for the gold medal Go in the Barrett men's team sprint. Canada. Here comes Hugo Barrett, and he's done it! Canada wins the gold medal! Canada's three-man team completed the three laps in just under a second ahead of the Venezuelan team clinching the gold, occasioning the track's first ever victory lap for the Maple Leaf. The packed stands cheered Canadian team members Hugo Barrett, Evan Carey and Joseph Veloce. Canada is on the brink of uh, becoming one of the best country in the world in the sprint, May, both male and female. <laughs> then it was the Canadian women's turn against Cuba. And the two Canadian team members, Monique Sullivan and Kate O'Brien, got their chance to hoist the flag on the track after winning yet another gold medal. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.